Okay, we have the Global Mazdas. We're back at Nurburgring, but this time we're running the GP track. Um, I was able to do some testing and adjusting on the car, and I did end up taking some time off my laps, but uh, still not not where I want to be. Qualified 10th, and it wasn't a good qualifying run. Not going to lie. Um, it was a 122 is what I qualified at. I'm capable of running in the high 120s around this track. But um, the leaders are running, leaders in this this particular split are running 118s. I've seen 116s. So there is time to be picked up. Just got to work on it. I'm having a real tough time getting the car to rotate. Green, 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 green. Okay, we got to get through turn one here. This guy on our right really seems like he wants to be in on this. So we're going to go ahead and let him be. Clear on the left. Left side. Clear on the left. Let's try to get through these first few corners. Car okay. On the left. Still left. Clear on the left. Left side. Clear on the left. It's a little crowded early on, but that's expected. Trying to keep my eye on these guys in the back. Looks like they fell back just a little bit. See if I can get the timing right on this. That little section I'm feeling okay about. But there are sections where I struggle. And we are going to have to give this fella room in the chicane. We're going to go ahead and just lay off a little bit here. Got a slow car on the right. Go left. Go left. Right side. Missed him. Clear on the right. Okay. First lap is down. We do have 25 minutes here, which should get us right around 20 laps or so. We'll see if we can keep it out of the dirt for 20 laps. I burped the throttle. You can see every time I let off the throttle a little bit, it, it brings the nose around. Just a hair. Slow car on the right. You've got a slow car on the right. Car stopped on the right. All right, I do have trouble on that corner, always going wide. You'll see me probably take that corner a little slower and lose time quite often because I don't want to drift wide and get that off track. Um, this particular section has been a tough rhythm to get a hold of. It's getting the car to rotate that, that left hand and then come down and, and get slow down all the way for the right that can be tough
Once you miss the timing, you slide up on top of the hill and over the curb. And if you miss the apex on that one, it just seems like it's really hard to get back. Catch up with the corner when you're behind it. Usually end up grazing the sand a little bit. So we just give him a little bit of space through there. Just make sure everybody makes it through nice and easy. Well, I gridded 10th and I'm running 10th. First couple of laps. Too much wheel in it. I can feel that that's way too much wheel in it right there, but. I keep trying to hustle this car around around the bends and I don't think I have the setup quite right in it yet. Yeah, one thing that gets me about that is it's kind of the way this car is taking it is it's kind of right between second and third gear there and I'm not really sure where I want to be I do know I want to stick into third around this one and it's just hammered down up through here Yeah, buddy, you want to step out there? Go for it. Give the brakes a bit of a tap there just to alert him that we're that I'm going to allow space. I don't know if you could see, even see that on the telemetry. It was pretty lightweight. This guy behind us in the three seems to know just what the hell he's doing. I'm not real worried about him being back there. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Let that three go. Maybe he's got a little bit more sauce for these uh, guys up front. He can pass one. Maybe break up what we got going on there. Of course, we might just end up being behind him the rest of the race, too, but, you know, with five and a half seconds back, it's a little more comfortable. Big check up on that corner from everybody up front here. But like I said, it is a timing thing. 
you miss the timing on that and you can't apex it, a lot of the time you will end up over the hill, over the curb, and it's just not an ideal situation to be in. We're going to break at the 50 mark here, bring it down into fourth and then third. Just hammer on it through the rest of the chicane. We can carry a little more speed through there, but not much. Not much more. Now it does look down out of that last corner in third gear, and it feels like I need to shift to second, but during testing, whenever I decided to do that, it was just uh, eating tents on the front straightaway. We almost ate that guy's bumper. Should probably back the braking on that up just a little bit. I'm trying to save the brakes. In testing, I did end up working my brakes pretty hard and by the end of my session it was pedal to the floor and just hope it stops so um, trying to take care of the brakes in this run whoa we were too close far inside on that one and almost lost it. All right, three. Send it. Send it, three. Send it. There we go. Go left. Power on the right. Clear on the right. He just blew up. The two must have had trouble or didn't. No, everybody qualified. But he is catching fast. Didn't expect to have to let him go by. Yeah, see, I had to had to let it sit off the throttle there for longer than I liked because I didn't get it apexed correctly. I tested a lot on that and never got an off track from doing that, but it was a little loose, a little bit too far inside on the second part, so we'll fix it. Go ahead, too. You can have that too. Left side. Still left. Hold your line. Still left. Clear. Just let those guys that are quicker do their thing. Maybe they'll get racy, and we'll end up taking both spots. Oh, looks like he gave it to him.
Yeah, we need to be in third coming out of there. Because we can hold it all the way to the final corner here. Yeah, I think the one's injured. He must be. Come on. There we go. No off track, though. Only one wheel off. We're good. Yep, had to punk brakes a little bit because I didn't turn in soon enough. Get to watching this show up in front of me, I need to focus on my own line. <coughs> They sure got a better run down the front straight than I did that time, didn't they? I think the two might have just punted that fella. But I couldn't see. And I'm not one to point fingers, so we'll just say that it is what it is and leave it at that all right Yeah, I think, I think shifting down into second and being able to hop on the throttle a little bit earlier out of that section is really going to help me. Um, his early brake lights kind of freaked me out right there. Damn!
Yeah, see how I drag it? I let off the throttle in second and then shift into third. Because there's no time to really just punch it up to second and shift to third again. I can't really justify any gain in time or speed there. Yeah, I missed it on that one. Kind of creeping away on us, though, isn't he? Putting together a pretty decent lap. There we go. We're back on him again. That's what we're looking for. Let's see if I can get, uh, yeah, we'll do session best lap. is if we can keep it under a half a second um, that will force him to make a small mistake white flag one more lap to go I lied I meant 10 laps not 20 should get us about 10 laps all right. You have about five laps of fuel left. Well, we didn't keep it within a half a second. Oh. This is the go lap, so we're going to give her hell. One thing about the Nurburgring GP circuit, though, is that uh, the curbs are generally pretty friendly. Left side. Still left. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Clear. 
Car on the left. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Hold your line. Clear. Left side. Stay on the right. Clear. Left side. Ah. Oh. Still left. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Got him. Just gotta hope he doesn't send it someplace weird. We gotta time this just about right. And we're gonna make him turn back in off his line to get our wind back. Oh shit! It's too early. That's a good run, Nine. Good run. There's the flag. It's over. Great job, driver. Well, damn it. Oh, I'll tell you exactly what happened on that last chicane. I lost my sight line, and I looked at the wrong point and then turned for it. Oh, that is frustrating after working so hard to pass him. Anyway, so let's uh, let's check out some incidents. Take this time to let you know that uh, today is my two-month. It's with iRacing today, so it's been a heck of a two months. And in some ways, I can hardly believe it's only been two months. All right, let's get rid of that. And go back to the beginning. Oh, geez. Okay, one. Oh, geez. All right, next. Oh, yep. I have not gotten my car to do that on this track. Oh, that is a way late break. Way late break, but that's probably his key to success, right? All right, so that's why the two was behind us. Yep, there we go. Why that is revving the car. Yep. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people claim that the hairpin that is the first corner of the Nürburgring GP course is one of the sharpest in the business. So, And it is. I mean, it's super sharp. It's like the one at Spa. Quite possibly a little sharper. There 
There we go. Yep. We were correct. I have slit. Oh, jeez. What in the world is that? Why? 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 No. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, like, even if you're pissed and you're going to pit, and like, like I say, I'm only two months into iRacing, so I'm a rookie idiot here, but... You've got to know his car's coming back in front of you in that situation. That's where the course goes. That's a tall order to expect him to break right. My opinion. And, you know, my opinion don't count for much. But, it seemed a little ridiculous. Anyway, let's go see how we did. Oh, geez, bottom split, and it was low. No wonder we were in the top. Oh, we ended up in sixth. Oh, we raced that guy for a top five. Oh, and I didn't save the replay. I wanted to watch that last lap. Anyway, up a little bit of safety, up a little bit of eye rating. Good to go. Global Mazdas on the Nurburgring GP. Hope you liked it.